stupid is your mum that she believed us? Um, that's my mum. Did you see the way I lied to her? Totally did it, we're bunking off! Who are you calling? I'm calling school. I'm letting them know we won't be there today. No, really, who are you calling? Don't poo yourself, I'm only calling school. It's not MI5. Oh, hello there. This is Sean's mother, year 12. Sean and his friend Billy Moore have come down with food poisoning. It must have been from the chicken. You're putting on your mum's voice. Sorry, Mrs Lancaster, you say your son's ill? Yes. Well, Mr Cooper, head of six forms, just here. I can put you on to him. Oh, no, really. That's not necessary. Forget it. If we hurry, we can still make it to first period. Hello? Hello. This is Mrs Lancaster calling to say that my son Sean and Sven Billy Moore won't be there today. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, what exactly is wrong with them? Food poisoning. Right. I know that's you, Sean. I think you better get into school. Cheers. All the best. God bless. Well, that was dreadful. I think he bought it though. In what world did he buy it? I think he thought that was my mum. Alfie, your poster's in my pigeonhole. Again. Morning, Rosie. Where is it? Another nomination for Teacher of the Year. Outstanding payment on your student loans. What are you like? Lovely. Thanks, but I look terrible. I was thinking about you last night. I was on my way to the gym for an ab attack. And I walked past Cafe Rouge, reminded me of our little it date. It was a staff party, Alfie. You say potato, I say date. Oh, please, Alfie. Not today. Richard broke up with me last night. He broke up with you? Why? You're perfect. I guess it's a relief. I think he was just really intimidated by me, physically, you know? Uh, what a square. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take a break from relationships for a bit. Throw myself into my voluntary work. No more dating men for me. Just orphans and abused children. Ew. Oh, it's in the charity work, obviously. Obviously, yeah. But if I need a teary pity date, you'll be on the shortlist. I clear my diary like that! Except for Thursday. It's my dad's birthday, so he's taking me and a friend to go see Cirque du Soleil. Richard used to love the circus. Go out with me. What? I mean, like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh, Bradley, just a few moments ago you told me you were gay. True, but you so should pretend to be straight, so... Yeah, I didn't mean with me. You're a nice guy and all, but you're not really my type. Yeah, well, you're not really my type either. Yeah, I know that. <sighs> do you want to kiss me or not? Oh my god, you completely missed the point. That is not what I was saying at all. No, I know what you were saying, I should just act straight. It's about this hellhole of a school. Then I can be whoever I want. I get that. You know, I've never actually had a boyfriend. Those are just rumours. Uh, yeah, that you started. Well, I told one person and then, well, you know, how these things go. So you're saying that I don't actually need to kiss a girl, I can just say that I did? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Are you? Oh, no. Hear me out. Oh, no, 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 no. I think about it. Absolutely not. We can help each other out. No. You want to maintain this taken facade. I don't want to get bullied, it's a win-win. How do you know I like being thought of as taken? <laughs> uh, because that way at least you're being thought of. Just one imagine me kiss. What do you say? Please. Not working. I've only got 10 signatures. I need to think of something else. The way I see it, Heather, we need to normalise drawing through faces. You're not going to do it again, are you? No, that's never going to happen in a million years. But you could. Top student in our year. You could have a drilling accident and they'll be like, oh, this drilling incident could befall anybody. Will they? 
Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, but if you did it, there'd be a pattern. Make it their problem, not our problem. Your problem. You know goth Linda? Linda. Linda the goth. Hmm. Wears a full black coat with goth embroidered on the back? Yeah. Goth Linda. Well, she has multiple piercings. Yeah. Now, I was thinking, I'm just brainstorming here. You could give her a consensual nasal piercing. Slight bit of acting. Oh no, the drill slipped. Meanwhile, you've already applied hydrogen peroxide with a cotton wool ball. There's no danger of infection. Drilling into other people's faces is not cool, Josie. I really don't think this is a good idea. Friends don't make their friends drill into other people's faces. Hey, you're not going to hurt anybody. Except Linda. Linda wants to get hurt. Goths are drawn to pain. I really don't know. Come on, we're the mental dentals. Yeah, I'm dental and you're mental. I thought we were in a church basement, but apparently we were literally in the heart of Jesus. Oh yeah? What's your name? Hazel. No, what's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. Oh my god. I enjoy looking at beautiful people. You see, I decided a while back not to deny myself the simpler pleasures of existence. Particularly, as you know, we're both going to die pretty soon. Okay, well, that's great. But I am not beautiful. Let's go watch a film. Right now. You could be an axe murderer. There's always that possibility. Come on, Hazel Grace. Take a risk. I don't. Oh my God. Really? That is disgusting. Do you think that that's cool or something? You just ruined this whole thing. The whole thing? Yes. This whole thing! Oh no! And you were doing really well too. God, there's always a Hamasha, isn't there? And yours is that even though you've had cancer, you're willing to put money into a corporation that could just give you more cancer. Well, let me tell you that not being able to breathe sucks. It totally sucks. Hamasha? Fatal flaw. Hazel Grace, wait. It's a metaphor, see? They don't actually hurt you unless you like them. You put the thing that does the killing right between your teeth, but you never give it the power to kill you. Do it! Leo, what are you doing here? I've got the train, taking you home. Why? My twin telepathy told me you're having an awful time. I needed to come home. No, I'm having a great time actually, and I'm learning a lot. Worse than I thought. Don't be so drastic. You know what my twin telepathy told me? You missed me, you missed me. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. It was Mum who missed you. She's been sat on a sofa, looking at old baby photos and shoveling down chocolate fingers. <laughs> That's funny because she called me earlier and was bragging about how well she was doing on her diet. Well then she lied. She didn't lie, you lied. You miss me, you miss me. Oh my God, is that my blankie? Yeah, I thought you might have wanted it. I did, thanks. Wait, so you miss a grubby old blanket more than your own twin brother? Okay, maybe I missed you a little, but not enough to come home early. Okay, I understand. Good. You know, someday we actually will have to be apart. I mean, sure, when you're an astrophysicist and I'm a model slash MI5 agent. I'll be home in six days. Do you reckon you can make it till then? Yeah, I guess. Right. I guess we better be going before mum... Oh, oh, no. no. I'm really sorry about what happened last year. I moved on. I never had the chance to actually apologize, but I don't know what was going on. You completely shut me out. Even before what happened with the video in the lunch hall, 
Why didn't you tell me you were sick? It was a scary time. I didn't know who I could trust, and when I started missing school, people started turning their backs on me. I felt like I need to be more secretive, like I couldn't let anyone know what was going on. But I was your best friend. That means you're supposed to trust me with the scary stuff. I think I've started to understand that. Yeah. Your new friends seem pretty nice. They are, but they don't have to get last minute reservations at Pizza Refresh like you do. I miss you too. statement thing. What? I can't copy it necessarily. I just want to borrow it for um, inspiration. But okay. It's just it's meant to be a personal statement about what you think of the syllabus and... Yeah, but it's late. If I had some good coffee, some Pro Plus, a bottle of night nurse and some books, I could bang out a statement in half an hour and it'd be brilliant. But I don't. Well, I might have some chamomile tea. Yeah, but I'm still a bit tipsy and I can't really think of why I want to do English right now. I thought I should probably put something about books. This isn't like a big deal for you, is it? What? No. No. It's not like I spent any time on it or anything. I just whacked it out whilst watching telly. I haven't even read it back. I mean, why read something when you've already written it? Can I just see a bit, mate? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, loads of these look like the same reasons that I picked English too. So, are you going to change a lot? Oh yeah, the tutor's never going to know our ideals. Cool. What are you going to change? Oh, everything. You know, the name, the words, the font, the stuff. I was thinking I might write another statement. Uh, for a laugh. Uh, and just in case he thinks I've copied you. It's only uh, 20 past three, I've still got hours. I'd feel bad if I was making you do another one. No, I'm just sparky. I'm vibing this essay. Well, if you're gonna write a new one, I might as well just put my name on the one you've already written. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, why not? Cause it'd be stupid us both staying up. I might get some sleep. I don't work too hard. I won't. Can we talk? Look, I'm covered in glitter and I really need a shower, so. George, stop it. What? What's up with you now? What are you doing? I'm going for the internship. Mm, why? Because I want to. Since when? That lecture was amazing. You said you're only taking that course because I was taking it. So? The girls reckon I've got a good chance. So, well, they're just being friendly, okay? Sometimes you get confused. Do you understand how insulting you're being right now? It's not about what I think. You've got this totally wrong. Yes, it is. No one else seems to have such a big problem. In any ways, the girls invited me to their house tonight. I'm just trying to look out for you. No, you're not. You're just being a jealous cow. Well? Sorry. I mean, I get it. I just don't understand why you're making it so personal. I said I get it, it's fine. You know, we're not gonna live the exact same lives, right? You don't even know them. Okay, something was weird at that party. So, just chill out. Drugs, lack of a stable and singular muscular. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. 
I, I was just what looking at your ice block. Everyone does it. You done yours yet? Not yet. You run, right? Yeah. Just talk about how positive reinforcements in sports mess with your gender identity. They love stuff like that. And how your parents gave you too much physical affection or not enough physical affection. Either way, that's why you're queer. My parents are dead. That should probably definitely go on the iceberg. You grew up in a commune? Yeah. Didn't know hippies were evangelical. They're not. My mum's boyfriend is though. One last question. I was in a car accident. I was actually going to ask if you had any more cigarettes. I beg your pardon? So you and Adam in the cellar. I hide them in a tree in the forest. My friend brings them to me. There's not many left, but you're welcome to one if you can find them. You don't really seem like the type of person that would be here. Why? Because I'm so inherently masculine. <laughs> no, just... I didn't exactly have a choice. Did you? Well, he's got epilepsy, that's official. They've got it wrong. Colin can't have AIDS, he's never had it off with anyone. Don't be stupid, of course he has. Well, he's never said. Well, when did you actually talk to him instead of taking the mic? You're just as bad. Well, he did talk about some boy, it happened years ago before he moved in. That's about 20 pounds, I've got 200 pounds in the bank. What for? I don't know, lawyers, anything. We've got to get him out. His mum said that she's got savings, but I don't think it's much. Pete can help, he knows the right people. I've got paid for that supply work. I've got about 80 pounds spare. Do you know what we need? We need a phone in this place. We should really, really get a phone. Come with me. I'll let you know how we get on. I just can't believe it. If you can get him, it can get anyone. I've never been with Colin. That's not the point. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. I'm not dirty. No one said you were. I never did anything bad. I really didn't. Can they make me better? You're going back to London. They'll know more there. Well, they haven't got a cure, have they? Have they? I don't know. They're trying. I think... I don't know. I can't remember things properly. I think it was him. Who? He gave it to me. Who do you mean? The football shirt. Who's that? Does everyone die of AIDS? We don't know. Does every single person die? Yeah, they do. I've read your stuff. That's what it says. It says no one survived. Please, make them do something. I don't want to die. Oh, she went to go get a drink. She's nice, isn't she? I thought you were only interested in Carly. Well, sort of. But Lauren's alright, you know. Easy to talk to. Did she mention me at all? Mm, no. Right. <laughs> she said she thought I was really good looking, but I was not expecting that. This is a bit awkward because I really like her, but I think she might like you. Well, if you think she fancies me, I should probably go for it. Perhaps, it's just that I'm saying that I like her. I should probably go for it though. 
Any thoughts on the me liking her part? Yeah, no. Good point. But she is fit, so you can see my problem. No, not really. Well, you know how it is. How? How is it? Oh, well, you know. Let's just see what happens later at break. She might not even fancy either of us. Yeah, let's just wait and see. Oh, and no hard feelings if she goes for me. Oh, I'm not worried about that. under the police. You have been apprehended. You have the right to remain silent, although that's unlikely as you've been arrested by Sergeant Fraser, head of Dave's witty banter unit. Step aside, Alf. You need a quick conflabamundo. Take a throne, old boy. You're not firing me, are you? Look, if this is about the fire extinguishers, I was teaching a class on democracy. I was using Mitchell to demonstrate Guantanamo Bay torture techniques. Hulk's to lose pistols, young ranger. Let's just control alt apple z that little number, shall we? Although, for the record, that can definitely never happen again. Well, I get it. You're totally intimidated by my teaching methods, right? Yeah? Why make learning fun? If I was a font, I'd be Comic Sans. You're so Times New Roman. Shut the funk door. You know I'd be wingdings. <laughs> Crazy. Any shiz. The other staff don't get you, but I do. I'm young, I'm cool, and I find your approach refreshing. However, this little man-to-man -man is about Rosie. Miss Gulliver, as Beyonce says, she's a single lady. And I'm gonna put a ring on it. What, you fancy Miss Gulliver? I like ye, I lighty. Ooh, what's that smell? Whiffy banter. For God's what's this got to do with me? Because, ow. You're gonna be my wingman. <laughs> no way. I just need you to get her to agree to go on a date with me. I'll literally follow your every word. My every word? All right, I suppose I could give you a few pointers. First piece of advice, completely ignore her. Women love that. It'll definitely work. <laughs> I wrinkling your linen, I wrinkling your linen. You know what? Out! I want you out! Now! This isn't working. I don't care where you go as long as you don't stay here. What are you saying? What don't you understand about out? Fine. I'll just leave you with my sisters. Oh no! Who will pee all over the bathroom floor? I was brushing my teeth at the same time. You try and do that. Are you okay? It looked like you got sick back there. Um, I'm fine. Please just get lost. Excuse me. Did you or did you not dump this girl after getting her pregnant? Sorry, what, what's going on? I, I never just... did like you. You didn't tell them what you said? What? 
What did I say? She said that we'd be ridiculous parents. No, I, not like that. Yes, you did. You said that I'd be a ridiculous father. Teddy, you asked me if I wanted to keep it. And then I asked you if you wanted to keep it and you didn't say anything to that. So then I said that we're ridiculous. It was after you called me ridiculous because why would you want to keep our kid if you thought that I was just a joke? It was before. And you were looking for a way out. I get that now. Everyone we know says we were wrong together. Your mother wouldn't stop saying that I'm not the kind of girl who ends up with someone like you. And then when it was time for you to stand up and say she's wrong, and they're wrong, and they're idiots, and you, and you stood by me, you asked me if I wanted to keep it. That's your first question. What was I supposed to say, Evelyn? That I constantly disappoint you? And then you'll tell me you think our kids are going to grow up thinking I'm just a joke? And that I was never good enough for you? And you finally found a way to tell me. And I was so scared of losing you that when you told me you were pregnant, I asked if you wanted to keep the kid. I'm ridiculous in a million ways. I am. I know that. But I can't spend my whole life disappointing you as much as I disappoint myself. Make a mind map. What's that? Oh, it's just writing stuff down, but in a fun way that engages every side of your brain. You mean both sides? Yeah, all of them. It's really good for making hard decisions like, should I get a fringe even though my mum says that they'll make my face look chubby? Or should I tell my mum I hate her and run away from home? It's fun to see. So, let's start with Jackson's nice bits. Okay, he's good at, you know, like properly good. <laughs> he's attractive. And popular. Mm -hmm. He's going places, like he's not a slacker. No, he's probably going to be president or something. We don't have presidents in this country, Amy. Okay. What else? Do you have things in common? Yeah, we do. Weirdly. So, cons. I don't want a boyfriend. I don't get it. Having a boyfriend is the best thing. What's so good about it? You always have someone to hang out with. And like, last week, I was getting chased by a fox and Carl threw a shoe at it. It was so romantic. It says two. Yeah, but if you really want to be numb, you've got to take four. I, I don't know. Do you want it to hurt? No. Then take four. Here. Put the ice cube on your ear, then hold it there if you can't feel nothing. Thanks for helping. It's going to look good. Yeah? Yeah, you've got a nice face. 
<laughs> I don't like my face. I think it's nice. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I wish I was dead. We got rid of mirrors. Mum read this Feng Shui thing and said we wouldn't have them. You know that. Almost. You got a nice face. You don't have to lie. I I'm not. You're fit. No, I'm fine, but that's okay. I talked to my therapist about it and she says that I should love myself in case nobody else does. Your mum loves you. I suppose. You ready? I, I reckon. Is that needle clean? Yeah, don't worry, I'll put it in petrol. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> well, I can't do it if you pull away. I, I know. <sighs> Sit still. Maybe we should do it another day. But I thought you wanted this ring. You've been going on about it for weeks. I do, it's just... Come on, I'll be gentle. Treat you like a little baby. Don't. Come on, baby. Come on, drink the vodka. Good. Now, Ugh. let's do this. Ow! Oh, no. What? Nothing. Just... Is there blood? Oh god, Amy, how much blood is there? Not much. Oh. Um. oh. I don't feel so good. Tom? 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 Tom?